Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another Skyforge video. And in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a brief um, endgame guide. Now disclaimer, this endgame guide is going to be based on pre-invasion. So all endgame mechanics are not going to be featured in this guide. This is more so an endgame guide to help you prepare for the upcoming invasion on Nintendo Switch. Now, this advice can help you on other platforms as well, but all the other platforms have current and ongoing invasions going with them. Nintendo Switch is kind of in that that early stage where we don't have an invasion on this platform just yet. So, therefore, these are more so things to help you prepare for the upcoming series of invasions and stuff like that, rather than just, you know... Um, Preparing you for for the following invasion coming from an, from another invasion, if that if that makes sense to you guys. But anyway, um, yeah. So this is going to be more so an end game guide of um of you know what you're going to be doing to gear up, level up, and stuff like that. So if you're watching this, chances are you have finished your provinces, aka the main storyline. You are completely done the, rel the yellow brick road, and you have um. Ascended to godlikehood. Now you're ready to be a giant god and kill all kinds of bad beings with your bros. Well, guess what? You're going to be doing a ton of that. So I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips, pointers, and things you need to look out for. Just, you know, to help get you started. So obviously, first and foremost, like I said in the beginner's guide, you want to get your might and rank as high as possible. You want to be grinding these out every single day. And the first and foremost thing that I want to start with um, to make sure you guys are put in the right track, and I hate to say it, but this is an MMORPG, and you know MMOs come with lovely old questing, your bastions, you need to be receiving these, and as you guys can see, I had more to grab too, so I've been slacking off as well, don't feel bad, but you need to clear these up for every single province. This should be the number one thing on your list to do. And the reason for that is because, like I told you guys in the beginner's guide, they unlock the bastions, unlock all types of perks and abilities for you to use later on. If you come right over here to the symbols tab, this is this is stuff you get from your bastions. Okay, these are things that you can use to um to enhance your character even further, give your character more moves, buffs, special abilities, all kinds of different things. So knocking and not only that, but bastions also increase your might. So knocking your bastions out. First and foremost is a really is a really big thing that should be on your um on your priority list. Now, secondly, let's talk about your capital again. We're gonna go over this one one more time. I know we talked about this in the beginner's guide, but I want to highlight a few things now. Now, every day, obviously, you want to invest a lot into your tower of knowledge and you want to invest into your cathedral. Old news taught you guys about that in the beginner's guide, but now you have a temple of deeds because you're a god. The deeds you get are simple. You get these by grinding missions in your divine form, which is your your god form. Basically, run through these, destroy everything, you get some you get some deeds. And this is basically like a bastion chart for your god form. The more you unlock through this through the skill tree, the more special skills you get for your for your god form. Like for example, this here reduces the cost of divine form by 30%. I think everybody will want that because um um, getting the getting the stuff you need to use your god form it can start out pretty expensive but um bastions we've already talked about those and your hall of trophies one other thing you want to make sure you're doing is farming victor medals as much as you can i'm going to tell you guys a good strategy for farming victor medals later on here in the guide of course besides spending money but you know you want to get you want to get your hands on these as quick as you can because you want these trophies completed you want yellow dots and all these things because they increase the might percentage that you get from your towers every day. This helps your tower of knowledge and cathedral power your character even more. Now, speaking of um of materials, the next thing you want to do is make sure your adepts are in order. What these are is another type of daily thing. They're, they're real sweet and simple. They're little minions that you have, basically your own group of NPCs that you just send out. They run on journeys. They're just AFK and away for set amount of time and they grab materials for you out in the world they can grab thing anything from credits knowledge of enemies more things for you to use your guide form and also other 
relics for them to equip. And when you equip better relics on them, they can they have chances to find better items. So these guys are kind of a system that pays for themselves. But as you guys can see, you know, mine are building up some um, some currencies and things on them. And they're going to deliver all of this to me once I, you know, bring them back from their journey. You just use the energy bar to determine when their journeys are over. And you get them from there. Now, relics, they come in all... Um, yeah, well, I call them relics. Sorry. Adepts, they come in all kinds of different rarities. So, you know, the um, the better... The better rarity of the adept, the probably the longer they can be out and the more materials they can grab you, etc., etc., etc. So do make sure you send those out, those guys out all of the time. The next thing you want to focus on, and this is a heavy one, and this is what gets a lot of people behind in the game sometimes, and this is also what's crucial for you catching up if you ever fall behind. Do your directives every single day, and I, guys, I cannot stress that enough. I'm not going to tell you, you know, you have to be on playing 24-7 because we all have jobs, lives, and stuff like that. But directives are one key factor in this game that keep you caught up and get you materials you need for leveling in every single form. Directives can hook you up with anything from gear to victor medals to um, more uh, sparks of transformation to earn classes, all kinds of stuff. As you guys can see, there are stimulant rewards in mind. There are gear crate rewards. There's sparks of transformation rewards there's enemy knowledge in here all this stuff you need to run these as much as you possibly can every single one of those numbers at the bottom should say zero if they don't say zero you have something you can do to progress your character and get yourself a little bit stronger but yeah make sure you are farming your directives regularly i know some of them can be um hectic i know the regional ones they personally get on my nerves because i can't stand running around doing all those quests just to complete a quest, but they're part of, you know, the game's, um, the game's regular grind. And last but not least, but one of the final things you want to focus on is your gear. Now, as you're going to notice when you, um, when you start hitting end game, your rank section is going to be a little different. You're going to notice that, you know, you have your basic rank, which as you guys can see, mine's 49, but as you notice, mine says 49 plus 3. Well, where does that plus three come from, you ask? Well, that is a new stat they've added called superiority, which, again, me and a bunch of other content creators kind of find pointless, and I'll explain to you guys why. Once upon a time, there was a time where, you know, gear just increased your rank, or rank used to be called prestige at one point in time. Now, instead, it adds superiority, which just adds to your rank anyway. So I don't understand what the point of it was. I don't know if it was... If it was built to replace combat superiority, which was a stat that you regrinded every single invasion to give you bonus perks over the monsters. I, I, I don't know. I wish they would just simplify this leveling system down to one thing and call it a day. <laughs> but anyway, we're, we're not here to rant about that. But as you guys can see, superiority comes from jewelry, a.k.a. gear, stones of power, and Flavius's lab. As you guys can see, I am rank 49, but I got plus 3. Now, I'm assuming the plus three probably comes from, and I'm doing some simple math here, these three generation one pieces that I have. As you guys can see, one, two, three. But I'm not completely sure. I can't um, nail that on the coffin yet. Superiority is kind of a new one for me. This is this came out during the time that I was away from Skyforge. So if you have any feedback or information you can leave on superiority in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. But your goal is honestly this. You want to get yourself as many Generation 1 pieces as possible. Meaning you want your Weapon Generation 1. You want your Artifact Generation 1. Now these two may not be available until the um, until the Invasion starts. However, I'm not completely sure because I know um, Invasion and uh, some of those high-end raids do drop the higher Generation weapons. But um, you want your, your Ring Generation 1, your Amulet, your Brooch. Your bracelet, your topaz, your emerald, your ruby, and your sapphire. You want all of these to have generation one. And preferably, you want them all to be mythical rarity, which is orange. As you guys can see, I have two purples right now. Those are epic rarity. But you want all of these to be orange or yellow, the mythical rarity. That'll give you, you know, the best stats in the game. That's the highest end gear and um, and, and all that fun stuff. There. There was a way to um to upgrade a lot of a lot of the gear. You can use um. Okay, it is still here. 
you can use this this item called pure matter which you get from breaking down generation one and higher and higher gear it's going to depend on what generation you're currently on guys we're obviously you know generation one heading in heading into our first invasion so you know we're going to break down generation one gear to get pure matter and you can use pure matter to upgrade the stat called integrity which i'll come back here and show you guys integrity is that little yellow bar that you see right there it says 25 percent. you raise that using pure matter to upgrade the gear to the mythical rarity or you can just you know hope that you get lucky and the mythical rarity gear drops in dungeons which it can but anyway guys that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for my beginner's guide to endgame like i said guys this guide is pre-invasion so therefore we'll be doing another guide on the um on when the actual invasion drops later on but i hope this is you know enough to give you guys a head start on what to look forward to grinding the game and stuff like that but anyway guys y'all enjoyed today's video smash that thumbs up button for me and i want to thank you all so much for watching it's your boy tenek127 and please don't forget to like share subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video till next time peace out take care